true, I believe, of you know a lot of us that were abused as children, is that we build up this persona, and we we convince ourselves that you know everything's all right because we have to, and we've got very strong wills, very strong willpower. You know, I'd have, I've got a very strong willpower. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but in, in many respects, it can actually work against you because, you know, I was fighting to stay alive, fight, fighting to keep myself alive. I didn't realise it at the time, but if any of this, if this all crashed, then I would be in trouble. And I knew that at some level, if the reality of this ever revealed itself, because, I, you know, basically, I'd been conditioned to not tell the truth from a very early age, from the moment I was abused, you know, as a young baby, young child. And it was conditioned in me to not be honest, because how could I ever, you know, that would never, that had to be denied from a very early age. Mm. So consequently, from that moment, and I picked that up straight away. You know, no one must ever know about this. This is the big secret. So from that moment, as a young baby, young child, that secret was there and in place. So that meant everything was a secret, including my soul, if you like. You know, my soul was ripped out of me when I was abused. There's no. You know, it was there was no doubt about that um, because I, I I lost my identity, to be honest. That why, in fact, my identity was never was never um, evolved. Yeah. It never evolved. Um, and you know, it's quite it's quite difficult sometimes to really you know sort of talk about. It. In fact, it's, for me, you know, particularly with this um, sexual abuse, you know, from my mother. Um, you know, it's only something that I've I've really just become to terms with. You know, I've I've worked through several layers of of abuse. Um, you know, and the, and the reality of it is is coming through now. But again, I can see why I, you know why I would have wanted to block all that off now because I'm now in touch for the first time. It's only in the last couple of weeks actually that that's happened. The reality of this whole thing of what this really means and what so you know in, in many ways. This is almost an ideal time to do this because it's it's bringing it all together. I don't think I could have done anything like this. You know, I couldn't have talked on this level. You know, it's another layer that I've, you know, because I totally denied the sexual abuse until very recently. Right. But that's where the therapy brought it. It mm. helped, helped me to come to terms with it. But. Mm. One of the things is that it's. My memory is very sharpened, actually, by therapies actually sharpened my memory of what really happened as to what I thought happened, if you know right. what I mean. Because I've had, to, I've, had to re, I've had to regurgitate situations in my life so that I don't feel the pain. So I've had to rehash them in my memory so that it isn't as bad as it actually was. Because that's the way I've been conditioned mm. as a result of the abuse. When I received the abuse, or when the abuse was given to me, Obviously, I had to desensitise to cope with it in some form. And remembering that I'm very, very young here, you know, I'm not talking about, this is before I could speak. You know, and often people say, well, how do you know that this really, you know, the memory? But of course, what I've realised in therapy, and this is where the body works, really crucial, I believe, in therapy, as well as the talking stuff, is that the memory, the body remembers everything, right from the child, right from a early baby, right before you could speak, the memory's in there of something that was wrong. Something was bad, something horrible's happened to me. And, you know, this is, it's, it's very, very difficult to explain, actually, because, you know, it, this took quite a long time in therapy to, to really come up, um, you know, but it's gradually happening. It's gradually, this is why long term, it has to be quite long term, this stuff, you know, because the truth has to, be, has to emerge of what really happened. And you have, to, you have to work your way through a lot of, um, you, you have to work your way through your own, um, what's the word we used for, for um, what happens when you, denial. You have to work through your own denial. Mm. You have to work out your way through your own um, pattern of denial. Because we've been so clever, we've twisted so much, it's very hard to get to the, you know, to the truth. And of course, the th this is where the therapy works, and I don't know how it works. I've got to say, I don't know how it works. I wish I could tell you that you do this, that, that, and that. But all I know is that with trust and with over a period of time, the truth emerges because the truth needs to emerge.